There you go. I don't know, you got to give it like 10 seconds. Right now, you should be able to right click on that uh, stream in the middle and it's a like copy link and then you just give me that link. Oh, here we go. Finally. It's not working on your um, home, but it's working in your videos. There we go. I can hear myself. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to mute myself when, uh, mute the stream when I talk so I don't start talking over myself, you know what I mean? Here we go. What are you asking me? Just fucking drop the lab. Is that locked? I can't see. Get an N up, Rob. <laughs> he looks serious. He's in what? Olympic Games. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Nice. Wait, you're muted. It's just me on the stream right now, just laughing, laughing at you. <laughs> Can you imagine if you just got famous on this? Just me, just talking to myself. Everybody thinking that I'm. Oh no, my name's in the stream, that's all good. <laughs> I'm just gonna start laughing while I can hear footsteps. <laughs>
you gotta believe, Tom. <laughs> I'm just laughing at our senses. <laughs> Where, why is there a timer? Oh my god. Is this Solos? Oh. Shit. What's the timer again, sorry? Oh. You've got like 15 minutes to get out. You're shitting yourself, Matt. It might never happen, Tom. Just give me some money and it'll happen. <laughs> you need to unmute yourself, like, next game. Terrifying. What the fuck was that? <laughs> you spawned like right next to the door. Right. <laughs> Unmute yourself so I don't sound insane. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> well, I'm just going to repeat everything that you say. When you go, shut up, I'm just going, shut up. There you go, there you go. So, <laughs> so if, you, if you look on screen now you have scavs and pmcs which is my main character and the scav you can be like a so if you were playing the division you could be uh, an elite or a you know a, a person that's not a player non-playable character npc yeah well it's kind of the same 
but you can shoot scabs and you can take their loot but all the other scabs will come running running for you because you've betrayed them right so all oh, right okay so the pmc if you kill a pmc you'll get a dog tag right and if you look at my screen now i've got a few dog tags on here so you collect them if you've killed people right okay and your character has this like stash that you have now because i'm dog shit i have a shit stash because i lose everything when i go on raids and stuff because i'm terrible all right is this making sense yeah but if you take whatever you take in if you die with it it's gone but Forever. what happens if you lose everything? Are you left with just like... You just have to do basics. scavenge. And you have to collect oh, loot from right, scavs okay. and then do it again. So you're just collecting loot now, basically. <sighs> from trying. scavs. Yeah, I'm trying. But once... When... So you're betraying scavs. Were you killing scavs then? Uh, I killed... I killed some player scavs, yeah which were players that are scouts, like I was, okay? Yeah, so, yeah, no, that was like friendly fire, basically. Yeah, but if you if you kill a P, if you kill an NPC scav, then all the other scouts will come looking for you, but if you kill a player scav, then it's fair game. You know what I mean? Right, okay. And you can also go into the dealers, and there's like a load of them that do different things. Well, some of them do similar things, but they have different... But yeah. why do you get a bounty on your head for killing an NPC? Uh, because you betrayed him. But if you were a PMC, you'd have you'd have it anyway. Because everyone's hunting you. Oh, not not NPC. Fucking PMC. Yeah. Not NPC. Wait, it doesn't quite make sense to me yet. Like those PMCs are bots then. No. There the, can be other players the, as well. PMC, PMC is player main character. That's what PMC stands for. And NPC stands for non-playable character. Yeah, I know. I know, but I'm trying to work out the difference between scab players and PMC players. So, PMC players is what I am right now. And I will go into a PM. I am a PMC going into a thing. And as a, as a scav, you get given loot that's already on you. You just have to survive with it and leave with it if you want it. Right? But PMC just collects loot. So PMC is everything that you have in your stash, which I just showed you. And they All use right, this so you can lose this now. Yes. Right. So you're going to lose everything then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've clocked on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I already knew that, but it was just a bit weird, like, why is the two, like, factions... Yeah. It's... I'm still wrapping my head around it, and I'm fucking confused. Right, so we're gonna die now. Uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll play a customs run. I'll, yeah, I'll unmute it. I'll unmute the stream when the game Do you starts. like the music, by the way? I've not been listening. I've had it on mute while we've been talking one sec. Yeah, it's like... Uh, industrial dubstep i like it Scavs not lose loot then? No. Well, they never have loot to start with. You just get given it. 
and it's random loot as well. But you can, uh, as a scav, right. you can kill people to get more loot as a scav. Yeah, so there's no to lose them basically yeah. as a scav. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it I'm makes sense now, scav yeah. Runs because but obviously, you get it's high risk, high reward with MPCs or, yeah. or PMCs. PMCs. Yeah. <laughs> It's absolute, yeah, and on the map, there's no, like, nothing to direct you anywhere. So if it says, like, your exit's here, we don't know where here is, unless you know the map. Yeah. Oh. This is dog. Do you always get, like, what was it, 15 minutes per game? No, it depends on the map how long you get. Oh, wherever you spawn? No. Whichever map you go on. This is different maps. Oh, okay. My game's crashed. Because my PC is so if... a than this. <laughs> so, if you get put in a massive map, you'll get about 20 minutes. Uh, on the one that I wanted to go into, you get 40. Fucking hell. 45. 45 minutes. Wait, have you got to restart it? Yes. I'm closing things down so that it makes it a lot easier on my computer. Because this game is like a fucking fat bitch who wants attention on the computer. <laughs> well, you add all of your design programs up and you fucking mad bastard. Yeah. I hate desktops like that. It just pisses me off. Shortcuts. Fuck off! Just okay. put them down at the bottom on your fucking toolbar. Yeah, for some reason it's been gay. <laughs> oh, now it's loading up. Yeah, I need a, I need a new computer. I don't think it's gonna happen. Brilliant optimism. Because <laughs> um, pay fucking rent, and then I've got no, no money for like bag of rice and shit. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, it's it's over in the next. <laughs> Two months. I'm. I'm just gonna be homeless. Yeah. No, you won't. You live with your mum and dad. You'll inherit their shit. Go. Go live with your sister. <laughs> like it's that easy. <laughs> Move to Canada and never come back. I didn't know that their power output through their men's sockets in Canada are like a half of the amount of energy that we use in the UK. That's <laughs> because yeah, they're poor. <laughs> Fucking hell. Even though like everything's well expensive over there. Well, yeah. They've got to make money somehow. <laughs> Probably paying like <laughs> fucking double the amount for energy and they're not, not even getting half. In, in Canada, in we you go there, in like the army and they <laughs> they have like a shooting simulation just for the army where if you like get simulated shot in the shoulder it'll tell you that you've got shot in the shoulder on like a little screen and then you have to role play being shot in the shoulder and getting taken back as a casualty yeah do you get do you get put in a sling like to simulate it yeah, or something do the full thing and then a vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> they do like two weeks of, you know, training over there. Of just camping and doing battle simulations. If I was physically fit, I reckon I could be in the SAS. My physical health is shit. 
that's stopping me from doing physical health right now. You are? I said, what's stopping you from doing physical health? Well, for years, I've oh, yeah, yeah, had rhinitis. Rhinitis. I heard that one before. Have you? No, I don't know what the fuck it is. Exactly. <laughs> You know, like, when you've got colds and uh, the snot runs out of the front of your nose, like, constantly? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that, but in reverse. So it just trickles down your fucking throat. Nice. You can't breathe through your nose, just blocked, fucking... Eating all the foods that you enjoy to eat just inflames it even more. It's just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And then you lose your hair, you go on siege to compensate and lose more hair <laughs> and then nobody wants to fucking know about you because you just look like a smackhead <laughs> and that's me how, how are you doing everyone welcome, <laughs> welcome to, to the stream <laughs> welcome to our TED talk <laughs> get me on TED talks just solve the world's problems Heal the world, make it a better place. <laughs> I, I might go out on, on my megaphone this summer and just go, Heal the world, make it a better place. Like, proper shy about it. Why don't you, uh, <laughs> why don't you go out on the streets and beg for money? <laughs> Um, because I'm pretty sure that's been made illegal now, Tom. <laughs> Begging. Yes. <laughs> um, what was it that fucking did Occupy was the movement that fucked, that fisted harmless people. Because <laughs> <laughs> it made, it made it illegal. They brought out legislation to say that you can't, like, fucking, basically, like, sit around in the streets. Just, like, fucking hell. <laughs> and then if you're fed up with that, not even legal to kill yourself. Yeah, and then people are like, oh, why, why are you so, uh, why are you so, uh, depressed? Like why, why, why are you so like poor? It's like okay, the game is experiencing technical diff issues. We are already working on the solution. Okay. Well, oh I'll, yeah. I play a better game. That's that you're. Do they have their own app like uh, yes. Fortnite? Yes. Yeah. See, Fortnite. No. Have you even seen anything like it? It's like... How would you put this? It's like Battlefield. And Tarkov put together. No, I've not been playing much recently, it's like... I've got to fucking install it. Armour um, install... Oh yeah, because they took up that. Let's just see all your fucking credit card details now. Portal. That was fucking banter with Ben. You got left kept dead pissing. too as well. Absolute jokes. I want to see that actually. Well, left for dead, dead too. too. Oh. Yeah, because people have said it's fucking you like the best it? zombie game. No. I thought it was just for, uh, oh no, yeah, it was for PC, but it was originally for Xbox, wasn't it? Yeah. I love that. All my space is in my D folder. 
Have you got a bunch of fucking drives you can just save stuff to? Yeah, or connect it? I've got one massive terabyte drive. One terabyte? Yes, and it does everything. That's, that's fuck all. I know it is long term things, but you're not going to get much with a thousand pound computer, are you? It's always down this fucking service, man. Ongoing network and overload problems. On the if you were making network. videos, you'd soon run out of space. Yeah, well, I'm so glad I don't. <laughs> yeah, they have they have a uh, thing as well, a like movie kind of thing in Russian. That's pretty interesting. The raid series. I think you'd enjoy it. I've not, I've not really been consuming stuff, like, recently, if you know what I mean, like, even though I'm sat on fucking YouTube all day just listening to Obi and Anthony or something. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. Imagine doing like, do you reckon you could fucking... Nah, I think you could, actually. Reckon I could what? Um, if you, and like, imagine not designing stuff. Yeah. Having Could you imagine yourself not, not designing stuff ever again? No, I'd probably kill myself. Exactly, it's like, that's what I'm like, but with video making, it's like, you, you have an idea and you're not allowed to, like, to... Here's, here's an idea. I, I had an idea for a video that you would be interested in today. And it was, it was write the story. Because I, here's, here's what i do if I was, if I was, uh, kind of doing stuff on live on, uh, Twitch and YouTube. I'd be, I'd say, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I've got a friend called Lee. We, we brought him up on uh, Siege and we had to carry him for most of the games. Like, no one knows who you are, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I just bullshit completely. And yeah, I make, yeah. And no, make no. your life sound like my life and my life sound like your life. <laughs> right? But the thing is, though, the funniest thing about that would be that I'd be in on it and it'd be like... Yeah. Just, Acting or, each other's or, lives out. <laughs> or you'd know, or you wouldn't know about it, and then when everyone's saying, oh, this guy needs to be helped on Siege, and he's like 34, and he's, he's only just begun Siege, and he needs help with it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then when we play, I'm, I say, oh, my name's Lee Hamster, right? This is my account. <laughs> And you're playing me, and I'm playing you. <laughs> and then when what they don't realise is we're swapping places, and it's like dip, living a false life. And then when when it get like like when it fucking blows <laughs> up, just be like, uh, yeah, we we were just lying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> see how fast the subs drop. <laughs> or you just see how long you can play it for. Oh, yeah, until no, I'm late. It's like <laughs> what? <laughs> you sound very different on Twitch than you do now. It's like yeah, 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 I know. Crazy. Yeah, I got a new mic. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, go to Twitch, come and be like, oh, Yoli, you look very young for a thirty-four-year-old. It's like I know, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when did I become thirty-four? <laughs> How old are you? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. You need to sort your fucking life out, Lee. <laughs> yeah, you say that like it's fucking easy. <laughs> well, you want to do production. But when, so do when you are like... young, when you that young, it's like what it, what oh it... yeah, fucking whole life, and then you turn thirty, you're like fucking hell. <laughs> it's like, yeah. why was I bothered about age? 
It's like Louis C.K. says about having kids. It's like, oh, um, if you get get married, it's just like, uh, oh, I could I could have left, and then you have kids. Um, no, what was it? It's the other way around. I fucked it up. Never mind. Anyway, uh, thanks for that. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Let's see if it's all right now. It's like... It's just one of them things that's like... Life lessons. But it's just so interesting how he puts it. But it's not interesting now that I've said that it's interesting, so you can just suck my fucking ginger child. Oh, it's loading. It should be loading. I want to. I want to start. That's it. I, oh, I got married. I could leave, <laughs> and then you have a kid. I could have left. <laughs> Basically, me. <laughs> Who is this Mexican person we're talking to? Louis C.K. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm just wondering. No, she, um. You might actually remember, you know, Diana no, from the no clue, Siege streams no. ages ago. No. She was in the chat like a while ago. You probably just didn't fucking yeah. You, nobody watched my stream, did they? <laughs> I mean, I mean, mental breakdown halfway through the sentence. So. <laughs> I love it. I say stuff like that, and I'm just like, <laughs> my life has been so much worse than these mental breakdowns I'm being like thrown under the bus for. Just like <laughs> you're just like I'm having a mental breakdown right now. I'm just like, no, you have no idea. <laughs> You have no idea of the darkness in my life. <laughs> At least you've got a little Jesus camera on to guide the way. Put a yellow raincoat on and uh, get a little music box. <laughs> Do you remember Gary's mod? Yes, I have still got it. It updated the other day when I started playing inside. Yeah, it's, it's been on the news. <laughs> it's been on what? The news. Why? I don't know. Somebody said something about a black person. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the stream. <laughs> as soon as you mention a colour on YouTube, your stream just gets cancelled. <laughs> I was making a joke to this other Mexican that I met on this guy who was streaming siege and he said this <laughs> this black woman was on on the live chat and she said oh, i just got banned on ps4 for saying the hard r and i knew what she meant straight away and i started laughing and i was just like oh don't invite that guy into the stream now because he's just gonna cut start dropping hard r's and he just like as soon as he started playing with the stream he just like you fucking retarded it was just like He's dropping hard R's and then and then he was just like, No I didn't. The and he was trying R. to <laughs> And I was like, Oh and he said the N word, but he said nerd. So it just changed the N word to nerd. <laughs> it's like make it so ridiculous that it's pathetic. That's what people need to do, just like, oh he said the N word, what nigger? No uh, <laughs> No 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 nerd, even worse. Oh <gasps> <laughs> God's sake. Grow up. Oh, grow up. It's Levio Sar, not Levio Sir. He's like insurgency. What the fuck are those games? Okay, hold on. The only. Actually. Why have you got Warframe? Are you dense? No, it's already there. I know I had that when I... Oh, yeah. 
It was already there for me as well. This is yeah. a Steam account. So when I first got Steam, I got that. Was it free? Yes. On stream as well. Right. It was free. I didn't buy it. And it was like I didn't have. Any money. <laughs> I, didn't I was buy like, it. I was <laughs> fag. <laughs> I was I was twelve at the time, and I was like, oh, a free game. Yes. Style. We need it's to. Really cool. We need to come up with new words for what, like the N word is and the F word and all of them words, like really shitty words. Have from... you heard about the R word? Retard? No. Are we changing retard to uh, something else? <laughs> the hard. <laughs> the hard R. She got she got banned for the hard R. She got banned for the hard D. <laughs> but what would we call the D though? Dick. No, like not the usual ones, <laughs> just really crappy like school schoolyard names. Dingus and fucking Dweeb. Fanny. Did we used to say that as kids? Fanny? Oh, you're fanny. You yeah. poo head. No. <laughs> but they, they, a fanny in America is. Their arse. Not the minge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a scene in the office where he's eating a scotch egg, this big fat fuck. Sat there because I'll oh, just be careful when you're in the states. Uh, they call the fannies their asses over there, not the minge. And then he just takes this like really awkward bite out of the Scotch eggs. It's fucking amazing. There's so many outtakes of them laughing. They're just like not, and then he just starts fucking laughing. <laughs> I think I've seen some of them. You'd love The Office. Just how awkward uh, Ricky Gervais's character is, David Brent. Do you like Richard Tries Martin? He's the guy with the muscle, the black guy with the afro. Yeah. Yeah, he's awkward all the time. And he's intentionally awkward as a human. I know some people find that really fucking cringe. That's and I'm just cool. like. It's fucking hilarious. I think they try and put themselves in their position or something. <laughs> <laughs> they just like, no. You know that that wouldn't fucking happen. Okay. What are you actually do? Are you just downloading all these now? No, no, no I'm, I'm playing Insurgency. Okay, just from one game to the next. Well, uh, what's his name? Dingy's going down. The servers are down on uh, uh, Tarkov. Fucking typical. Fucking servers? Worse than fucking Ubisoft. That guy who walked in, he just fucking looked right at you, <laughs> but over your head, and you just fucking drilled him. <laughs> I just heard you all the time go. It would it'd be silent and laughing nervously. And I'd be there like, would you please just be quiet? Can you imagine right in in the SAS where it's a serious tactical situation and we need to I wouldn't be fucking laughing in the SAS. I need to be like there's a guy, there's a fucking guy, there's a fucking guy. He's coming! <laughs> Trying to shit everyone up. Oh like, when we, we used to, like... I don't know if you did this in primary school. We were just fucking mental in primary school. We snuck back into the school when we're not supposed to be in the school. And whenever we saw somebody, we had to hide. Like, we weren't allowed to be spotted. 
And um, okay. like we'd see somebody at the end of the corridor, like just turn a corner, and we'd run off like into an empty room and just go, he's there, he's coming, he's coming, and just fucking running off like shitting each other up. He's there, he's there. Oh, fuck this. You shit yourself. I'm gonna have to reinstall this shit. You have to install all of them. <laughs> no, I'll have no room left, and then my computer will be like, hang on a minute. I've forgotten that you are actually fucking the screen. <laughs> yeah, no one's watching, it's okay. Oh god. I won't even watch it on um, a full HD monitor. I'm fucking. It's all squashed for me. 720p? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine watching 4K on a 720p screen. That's... No, it just blue screens. It, it breaks my computer. Whenever I do it, it just goes. <clears throat> and then. <laughs> fan just reboots, it's like. <clears throat> and then it just goes. <laughs> Booting up again. <laughs> Blue screen. <laughs> it's just fucking sad. I could be a fucking millionaire by now. <laughs> One day I'll be a millionaire. And then, uh, It'd be I'm so gonna... easy as well, no, because like. Do time lapse videos on my computer. It takes about thirteen hours to make a time lapse of a three hour video. Just like fuck off. You should make movies. I do, I have done in the past. Make make better ones. <laughs> make better ones. I here's here's what me and a guy from America and this guy in America is fucking insane. At design. He's he's a car designer, so he's one of the best. And he's actually made it as a car designer. So he's actually good. And he's helping me out. Right? And he wants to design his he wants to design a shoe with me. But he wants to design a tech wear shoe. And then try and sell it. Which right. Would be interesting. And then the reason that he's helping me is because I'm helping him invest. Which is right. <laughs> I can just imagine you going, the, "What did you just reason. put money in? A, did you just put money in the account and just go, oh, it's going up, it's going up, and it's gone.'" <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put this in your money mutual fund, where we'll reinvest your in, in earnings in the compounding interest, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't but... worry, Mr. March, we'll just and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That was the best fucking South Park episode ever. <laughs> I just gave you a hundred dollars. Well, do you have any money invested in this bank with us? No, you just lost it all. <laughs> we'll move on. We'll step aside. We have other customers. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> I just gave you. <laughs> I have a hundred. I have a hundred dollars. No, you don't. not anymore. You don't. Poof. <laughs> reason why I'm telling you this is because we're invested in cryptocurrency and the way you're gonna the way he wants to do it is you pay for the shoes in cryptocurrency oh so he's investing before it's even out on the market yet yeah fucking smart interesting and I, I, that I, is I, really I, interesting actually I put a thousand one thousand five hundred dollars into cryptocurrency and it's now worth eleven thousand dollars. Fuck you know. When are you gonna sell it though? End of this I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take money from it until 
we until the end of this year in September, and then we're gonna put it in a. And we're gonna put it into the fucking U.S. equivalent of what whatever their cryptocurrency is, so it doesn't lose money, and it stays the same as the dollar, and then when it all drops to the floor, the prices drop, we're going to reinvest and then make a shitload of money after that. But how many other people would be doing that? Quite a lot. Well, here's the thing. He, he's one of the fucking social media knobheads. And he, he posted that he was making a load of money online. And oh, then he had, people, he had people come up to him and said, Oh, I want to learn how to make money. Can you show me how to do it? Can you do this? Can you do that? And they're Fox. like... Yeah, and, yeah. And he was like, uh, Tom, do you mind if these people... Uh, I keep I keep getting messages from people saying, Oh, I want, I want to be interested in making money from Bitcoin and stuff. And I'm there thinking, yeah. You are the biggest twat in the fucking world. Because now people are asking you and I'm the one doing all the research for it. It's like, fuck it out. But yeah, he, we're going to use that money that we've made to build the shoe brand. But will things bounce back? Yes. Here's, here's, when, here's the interesting thing. Do you predict? Crypto. Here's the interesting thing about cryptocurrency. When... Well, moment. I said when, not like what's the in most in interesting thing about cryptocurrency, <laughs> but okay. So, probably when things are going to drop is probably going to be after the pandemic, when the economy stabilizes. No, I mean, like, when do you predict that things are going to bounce back, not like... Uh, probably 2023, or at, at the end of 2022. Because if you follow the market... If it, so, so in twenty seventeen, Bitcoin, dro Bitcoin blew up and then dropped, didn't it? Well, I haven't been like I haven't okay. invested ever. So, so in twenty seventeen, Bitcoin blew up to twenty thousand and then dropped to about three thousand. Okay, and then the year after, it kind of started going up a little bit. That was in the start of 2018 to 2019. And then at the end of 2019, COVID hit. So things started to go up even higher. And then this year, it's going to blow up like it did in 2017. And then it's going to drop down to the floor in 2019, in 2022. And then 2023, we invest, it goes back up. Because it's a pattern. And they're, they're predicting that the, the end... The, f the like highest price of Bitcoin will probably one Bitcoin will probably be worth five hundred thousand dollars, which is fucking insane. <sighs> what for one Bitcoin? Yes. Mad, isn't it? So if you did like an average, if you plotted a graph and it was like the average, like increase of that bit one bitcoin value mm -hmm. like how much has it been steadily going up since release so it started in 2012 and then in, i think it started in 2012 it started in 2010 or something early. yeah it was around then yeah and then it went up to a hundred dollars i think and then it went back down and then went up to 20k, went back down, and now it's gone up to 40k, and it's probably going to hit 50k, and then by the end of this year it'll hit 100, and then it'll drop again to probably 20k, and then it'll just keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, until it hits. So if you if you wanted right now, what you could sell this? Uh, what is it that you invested in? I've got a theory. Moment. and we're waiting for that to hit 3k and it's at 1.7 <laughs> so you could sell that now and get what i could sell it and get about eleven thousand dollars which is about eight thousand pounds even though i invested at the start i invested one thousand pounds right yeah but mm -hmm. 
Because what if it tanks though? It won't. No, but I'm saying, what if it tanks? You wouldn't be able to sell it, obviously, or it, it, yeah, I can sell it whenever I want. I can take it out whenever I want. There's no one stopping me from taking it out. No, but if it tanks and you sell it, it's like you've just lost some of your investment. I'm just saying hypothetically, not like that it is. If what do you mean by it tanks? The, the price drops. Yeah, the price, like, the value just drops dramatically. Yeah, yeah then I'll lose money. But, his but then you've just got to have, like, the confidence to leave it there until it bounces back, if it bounces back. When it bounces back. Oh, so it's, like, a matter of his, his, his cycles. Here's what I going to tell you. So... The interesting thing about cryptocurrency is when the price of the dollar is doing well, the price of Bit cryptocurrency goes down. Yeah, and, yeah. And when the price of the dollar is going down, the cryptocurrency is going up. So, yeah. Because of the pandemic, so that would be the best time to sell it if you need money. Yeah. But the, the interesting thing is the reason why cryptocurrency is going up is because of the pandemic and all the countries printing off money as much as they want. The price of the dollar is going down, the price of Bitcoin goes up. Yeah, yeah, Because you yeah. can't print off any Bitcoin. It's crazy. They, like, re revolve sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, good. it's betting against the dollar, which is pretty weak. Yeah. Because they can just print out as much as they want. Which, which they uh, are doing. yeah, they are doing, yeah, and it diminishes the value of the uh, current um, dollars in circulation. Yeah, that's why Elon Musk bought like one point five billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, and then that's going to drive the price up too, because all that. Bitcoin and now the numbers don't fit on his screen, like <laughs> how much he's worth. Well, <laughs> one day they will. If Bitcoin, think about it, right? If you bought one, you bought thirty thousand Bitcoin, some thirty-four thousand Bitcoin, thirty-five thousand, let's say, right? So if thirty-five thousand times five hundred thousand is a lot of fucking money, obviously. <laughs> Quite a lot, yeah. Go on. It's. No, it doesn't matter. Go on. It's seventeen point five trillion. <laughs> That's fucking mad. <laughs> you just get the cashier saying, "How would you like that?" Well, the good, <laughs> the another good thing about cryptocurrency as well is you are the bank. There's no bank that's involved yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. But the only thing the fucking government are doing is they're taxing it, which is fucking useless and pointless, in my opinion. No, but how is it pointless? Because you, you can't tax something that isn't government owned. Oh, Tarkov is back up in there, I think. How, um. How does this fucking work? Is it just all. Yeah, I know it's all digital, but it's I mean, how does it on operate? And trust. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's but like how a... do you get something real world though? What do you mean? Okay, okay. So, like, so... like if I said, Tom, get, um, if you I'll said to buy me... your Xbox. Yeah. So if you said to me, Tom, I have five hundred pounds and I'd like to buy your Xbox, right? Yeah. Then usually, what happens is the government goes. Okay, we all the banks go. Okay, we're going to check your we're going to check your computer, we're going to check your bank, and we're going to see if you have five hundred pounds in your bank. And the bank checks it, and they take a bit of the cut to do the transaction. And say, yep, he has five hundred pounds. Here's the money. Here's your Xbox. Right. With cryptocurrency, what happens is there's no bank. So what it does is it's a network of computers. So one computer says. Oh, I think I have five hundred pound, five hundred dollars, okay, and I like to buy your Xbox. Then it'll check with all the other computers in the world, 
to see if you're telling the truth. What? And uh, so, yeah, it's where it gets complicated. So, one computer will say to the other computer, "Has is this true? Does he have five hundred pounds?" And the other computer will go, "Yes, he has five hundred pounds." And then that one, then there'll be more computers doing that. There'll be like about a thousand computers doing that. And if they all come back correct, then you have five five hundred pounds. And if they all come back negative, you don't have five hundred pounds. Yeah, but who puts that into circulation? <laughs> it's it was designed by some Japanese person who created Bitcoin. It's called the blockchain. If you read about the blockchain, you'll know about it. But essentially, it's it's and the computers don't get any money from you to say I'll take some money for checking. So it's basically just like credits. Yeah, and it should be it should be tax free because I because it's like me handing you over five hundred dollars cash or five hundred pounds cash. But the value is determined on the uh, the value is determined it's... on whether you trust me that I have five hundred dollars or five hundred pounds or not. Well, let's just say, fucking, I don't know. Can't say Bitcoin because it's like it'd be zero point zero 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 fucking one just yeah. for like a hundred quid, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's, Bit, that's Bitcoin. So, so what what people or what governments are doing is they're putting the value of their their currency into a cryptocurrency, so you can transfer your tiny amount of Bitcoin into pounds and pence. Uh, this is what's going to happen now, isn't it? Yeah, but here's the thing. You won't need a bank because you'll be the bank. You are but... your individual bank that holds your money and you don't need anyone to tell you that, you know... You but know. the thing with this is there's no privacy either. What do you mean? Because there is privacy. all these networks, all these networks that communicate in about this particular transaction, whatever, hypothetical scenario, yeah. would all be um, susceptible to hack. You know what I mean? Well, not so you could steal if, that data. No, because if one computer goes down, the rest of them have the same information to back it up and, you know, you can't hack but it. wouldn't that cancel the transaction though no because here's, 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 here's the interesting thing about cryptocurrency the way you do it or the way you pay people money is you you give them a qr code and they scan it and they send you money that way right oh um which is the qr things are then like pixels aren't they yes those square yes. pixels yeah and the way you get into your account or the way you get into your bank account is you have a, a you mean cryptocurrency yeah or a network you, or something your crypto account is you have yeah. you get given a, a, a various amount of random words that you have to put in the right order in order to get access to your account right and the chances of there's about 12 words that range from three letters to five letters Right. Do you know how all this took off and not? Uh, I don't know how it all took off, but I know the, I know there was one. I know it was the person who created Bitcoin which started it, and his name is um... John C. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got his, fucking his resist. Name is Satoshi Nakamoto. Fucking love Japanese people. But the thing is, you don't know if that's a person or a group because no one's come forth and said, I'm this guy, I'm that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it would make sense if you're creating a fucking currency which is challenging the existing economy. Fuck me. Yeah, because it's all based on trust. So it'll be, you know. But that's just so fucking. Like. But if you're untrustworthy, the computer will pick you up. 
because you can't say I, 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 if I said I had a million bitcoin the computers would check and go you're fucking bullshit stop you know you don't you know wait um, so you create your own bank yeah well not bank but like crypto the currency itself you can you can mine it yeah you can get bitcoin for free But here's the thing. Wait, you said you said something interesting then mine. Yeah, so you don't you don't print off Bitcoin, you mine Bitcoin. Which means you get you get a computer to solve a load of algorithms on the computer which mines Bitcoin one by one. Right? And to mine Bitcoin you need about seventy of the most expensive GPUs in the world to run a computer that'll actually mine it. <laughs> or to work out these algorithms. Yeah, you can't just do it but, with a pencil. But where do those? Yeah, where do those al algorithms go I've got to no though? Like, clue. I've got no idea. It's this fucking... is beyond me. But yeah, it's complicated, and I don't think it's going to be. Shut I down. mean, it's like it's not like I'm fucking trying to pick holes in it. I'm just trying to understand it. Yeah, it's it's difficult to understand, and even I don't understand it clearly. No, you know more than I do, because you're actually using it. Yeah, well, I'm investing in it, and I'm letting the value go up. Because here's the thing, once the world starts using it, the price is going to fucking rocket. Because if everyone has, if everyone starts using Bitcoin, then the price will be worth a lot more. And if everyone starts using... No, Ethereum, no, 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 wait a minute, wouldn't it, wouldn't it drop? No, because if... Wouldn't... Because there's only a limited amount, and if everyone's using it, then the the amount of Bitcoin will stay the same, and the the demand will go higher, and because you can't print any more, the price will shoot up. Do you understand? So when there's no. high de when there's high demand for pounds, or people print pounds off in paper. And they go, yeah, we're going to print a load of money off so that we have more demand and we can keep the price stable. Right? Whereas Bitcoin goes, the price isn't going to be stable. If you want it, take it. But when more people buy it and they keep buying it and buying it and buying it, then the price will shoot up because there's more demand for it. But how... The, there's no, like, creation of Bitcoin now in this model, though, is there? You can is what you're it. saying. You can mine it. That's the creation of it. You can mine it. And once you've sold it... I don't it, understand so... this mining, this... Out... <laughs> dealing with algorithm... Algorithm... <laughs> Google how to mine Bitcoin. <laughs> no thanks. Well, I ain't gonna explain it to you. Because it's fucking complicated. And I ain't a fucking genius. I bet there's like one person listening to our fucking YouTube commentary like, oh yeah, this guy's speaking a lot of sense. This guy's just being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine if you just blew up for this stream right now, just like us just rambling. I mean, it probably would happen. This guy said the N-word. Oh my God. Yeah, if we, if we, uh... If we actually knew how to crack some of these algorithms, it's like... You All these guess. crypto nerds had come out of the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon someone's Fuck gonna. Sick. I reckon someone's gonna hack it though. One day. I know that's what I'm saying. There was a, a guy on um, a <laughs> podcast who was talking about the next criminal is gonna be the one that can hack. Um, online, whatever you know, because everything's moving online. So it's like. As soon as somebody gets your data or like yeah whatever it's like you're fucked <laughs> just just go live as an indigenous person you'll be all right <laughs> until they eat me alive yeah <laughs> because i make no contributions to the tribe <laughs> <laughs> mm. you can tell you can teach them how to read them right 
there was a guy, there was a guy who who had two hundred seventy million dollars worth of Bitcoin in an account that he made, and he forgot his passwords, so he can't get into it, and he can't have access to it. Uh, did he kill himself? He probably <laughs> killed himself. And this is why we're gonna get shut down for famous. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Your Honour, uh, Lee Hamster uh, stated in 63 minutes into the live stream that uh, he killed himself. Comment? <laughs> Objection, Your Honour. Fuck off. Lee Hamster's a paedophile. Wouldn't be surprised if he came out as a paedophile. Like Jimmy Savile with bald hair, anyway. <laughs> Just for the record, I have no interest in <laughs> children. I have interest in the education they get. Oh, but lack of. <laughs> not their sexual reproductive organs. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though. Black Ben fucking buys some shit games he does. You, you do not, are you streaming right now? No one's watching Black us. Ben. Yeah. <laughs> when I get famous for my shoe company, they're going to be stalking me online. No, no this? context. Why don't you just get a branded YouTube channel with like a random name like I've done? And then nobody could trace it back to you. Because if someone traces it back to me, I'm just going to tell them to shut the fuck up and get a life. Well, I thought you was worried. I'm not. I don't give a shit. I'm just giving you an out. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. If someone comes up to me and says you said a word, I'm just going to knock them out. <laughs> I'm just going to knock them out. Jesus, Tom Humphrey, the fucking cage fighter over here. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't oh, know what the what, what was, fuck is what that, was that What was that uh, thing that Ricky Gervais did his last show? Was it his Humanity one? I don't remember now. It's no, his TV a while show ago. on Netflix. Um, Something about life. What is it called? <laughs> there's, there's Afterlife, a, is it? Yeah, there was a bit where he was at the church, or he was at a morgue, <laughs> and he was a nun came up to speak to him, and he's like, "Oh, is it your friend? Is it?" And he goes, "Yeah," <laughs> and he just goes, "Oh, that's a shame. Was he young?" And Ricky Gervais just looks at him and goes, "Don't breathe that hair in. You'll get high off your tits." And you just started walking away. <laughs> He's really squashed all of his like philosophies and stuff and perspectives of life into that show, and it's in some bits I'm a bit like, yeah, that's cringe. I've heard him say that so many times on like XFM back when he started. Like, The Office is the best thing he's done, but nobody fucking watched it. Yeah, I'm like. What are you doing? What am I doing? No, I'm talking about that. What's that? What the fuck was that? Fucking staple of fraud at your head. Right. right, Dad, I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, turn the light back on. It's 25 minutes past that midnight. It's fucking throwing staplers at your ass. There's one that isn't in the right direction. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but you put it back. I'm never in the right direction. <sighs> well done. I'm going to get a load of new presents. Silly old map instead of having the odd ones. Okay. Why? Nice. Fuck me. 
No, they're not. Well, they're not if they've come in to tell you off. No, it's, it's my parents who just crossed the portal for me. <laughs> Cross the landing. Why is it called a landing? I have fucking no idea. Like, back when planes used to come in from, like, a hard day's work. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> When planes used to land in people's houses. <laughs> Tommy Darko, <laughs> fuck it, just spoil the ending. Uh, 55%. Do you want to see some of my designs for my major project? The no. Other. Okay, well, they're up there in swim. They come on camera. Major project, or oh, yeah. It's not the minor project, it's the major project. <laughs> we are the brown man group. Minor project research. It's fucking over, mate, it's over. What's over? Life? Or. Oh. Like. I know, I know we take the piss out of uh, all the letters of the alphabet group. <laughs> the ABCD group. Keep going. <laughs> Which one are you? I bet, I bet what people do, right, is they go on fucking Google and they get the random letter generator and they go, I'm, I'm that one. They just spin it and go, yeah, that's me. <laughs> all all of that is just... Um, Cancer? Yeah, we know. It's, it's just killing us all. Are you, are you a far-right person? But what is that anymore? Because I thought I was fucking left, like, years ago. Well, you fucking li liberal is like, mate. I'm trying to take care of all the world's people here. If that makes me liberal, then fair enough. And you're just like, oh, I'm left me, I think. Um, <laughs> like, up. I'm up. I'm up. That's what I am. <laughs> exactly. I'm down all the time. <laughs> No, it's it's fucking it is over. I'm telling you now, it's over. When when is it gonna be over? Though? It's never gonna be over. Have you got a set date when it's gonna be over? I'm saying that it's only gonna get worse. Yeah, well, it can't only just get worse for the rest of it for the rest of the time we've got left on the earth. Until. If you let me finish. <laughs> okay, I'm finished. Okay, well, there you go. Then. So you can pretend all you want. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. <laughs> and I'm never right. Oh! What does wrong and right mean? It's just a matter of uh, perspective, isn't it? If if I no, fuck it. <laughs> if a teacher says uh, two plus two, Timmy, what do you get? He says seven. He says sixty-nine. No, you're wrong. It's like well. No, that is just not the answer that you had in mind, bitch. I don't think it works like that. I'm gonna be 
fast. Well, it doesn't work at all, does it? People starving to death right now, Tom. Yep. You think money works? <laughs> <laughs> yes, just go. I do just go. I'm making it right now. Just go. Huh. Yeah, yeah, you're the one that fucking makes it, but it's all, it's all gonna go. It's all gonna go, don't worry. <laughs> you think your fucking crypto bollocks is gonna buy you a loaf of bread when it all kicks off? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can buy a right. loaf of bread right now, crypto if I wanted. In crypto? <laughs> Please do and give me a receipt. <laughs> I'd love that. I've got, I've got, I've got a, uh... That's the thing, what places accept, like, cryptocurrency? Tesla. Uh, Amazon. <laughs> Just Tesla. Pornhub uh, accepts cryptocurrency. <laughs> Does it actually? Yeah. It, it wouldn't surprise me if it... If <laughs> uh, I think... They're probably more... Porn is probably more wealthy, or just as wealthy fucking as... Big companies like Amazon. <laughs> well, you'd think that, but Pornhub has kind of ruined the game with free porn because no one buys porn. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've kind of like fucked it. Yeah, they've had to rely on advertising. Yeah. And it's like. It's the same with media and any art form now. They've got to rely on fucking advertising. It's a shame. Kind of if you're talking about design, then you know you don't have to rely on the fucking. Well, that's not really. That's not really an art form, though. Well, not an art form. Sorry, it's not like a form of uh, media. Yes. It's more. It's more a case of like how you create the process. Yeah, it's just like a process. Mm -hmm. It's like me saying, oh yeah, uh, Sony Vegas is uh, media. It's like, no, that's just like the tool that you use. <laughs> what the fuck is Sony Vegas? Editing program. Video editing program. Do you not use Premiere Pro? Or is that... I've Spectrum? used it, yeah. No, I've got it. I've got Premiere Pro, I just don't like some of the carryover is a bit confusing to me it's just like it's gonna take me too long to learn this i'd rather just stick to what i know yeah. like i know the basics on it but i just wouldn't know where to find like stuff that i use quite often on vegas <laughs> it's like you go into like the alternate program for design what You'd depends. be a bit like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you lost, <laughs> do you imagine doing all your work in Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> you should make a video of that and then just, just go. Yeah, these are all my amazing designs, folks. Um, we've got the gradient here. It's just like the spray can has just gone across the screen. <laughs> There was, there was a guy who, who designed cars on paint. <laughs> he sketched cars on paint. <laughs> I think I seen that years ago. Somebody was doing something well epic on paint and I was like, nah, this ain't real. Uh, I can send you the photos if you want. Because it's like, you could just, you could just put it all together in like a fucking... 3D CAD fucking program or something, and then just print screen it, put it into pen, and then just like erase it and make it look <laughs> as though you like reverse the footage and then make it look like you've created it from scratch. Yeah. And do a time lapse to make it look like you're a fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I might do that and be like, yeah, I'm uh, the best uh, designer on Microsoft Pen. <laughs> Fucking troll.
like if you take your favorite videos like the lave video for instance and you just put that into like vegas or something you started editing it like slowing it down speeding it up adding fireworks to it adding more blood and you know just making it a right disaster yes. then uh... <laughs> making it a right disaster isn't it already a right disaster that's the joke, Tom. <laughs> the more funny if I don't have to explain. <laughs> right, look at those. These were created on paint. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Wait, how did you send them when you fucking. I'm watching your live stream. I and I didn't see you. On my iPad. All oh, right, okay. I was just thinking, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing behind these downloads? Just <laughs> <laughs> fucking computer genius. <laughs> You're just there behind the fucking window, just <laughs> tread and stock. I, I surprise myself with the fucking stocks because I'll be like, this is going to happen then. And it fucking does. And I'm now like, well, that was fucking bizarre. I'd be like, how the fuck did I do that? But when you actually record yourself predicting certain things, it never works out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like when you're live streaming ranked on Siege and you're just like, yeah, I'm going to play really well and you, you drop a donut until overtime and then you want to smash some little fucking Arab's face and what? <laughs> no one's watching. Yeah, fuck the Arabs. You know my internet speed is meant to be 56 megabytes a second, and it's 5.6. But wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Why are you talking about download? Or is that supposed to be your upload? You're talking about internet speeds, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you're talking about download speed. Why? <laughs> well, that's the speed it takes to download something, isn't it? No, you you go... Unless you found a different way of doing it, but just go do a speed test. On fucking... An internet browser, and it will give you do you download and upload speeds. That's it. Go go to Chrome and just put in I'm doing speedtest.net. It's currently doing it. It's mm. Okay, Google is it as its own fucking thing mm. now. Fucking hell, it's struggling. <laughs> 21 but your uploads fucking crazy yeah mad and then on here it's 6 why does your fucking connection always drop it might just be that download speed then that fucks everything up uh, I've got no idea mate what I want to do is I want to get a fucking house and I want to live there with my own fucking sick internet this is what I want to get. This is what I want to get. The thing is, though, I just think that anybody who thinks that we're going to survive the next five, ten years... I think we will. I don't think we will. ...is fucking naive or in denial. Oh, but why? 
Give me. What do you mean? Give but me why? Your, give me your main reasons. Food production. Yeah, you can three D print food right now, and you can regenerate. Yeah, but food. who's got no Tom? Tom, Go on. who's got three three D printers? They're not widely accessible, are they? Yeah, I've got two three D printers. I know a mate over the fucking road who's got a three D printer. <laughs> But it's nowhere near to the standard to print fucking food. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, you und why I don't understand why you are so night or so how do you put it pessimistic about life on Earth. In the next five years, we will be much better than we are right now. Well, I don't understand why you're so fucking clueless of what's going on on the planet, Tom. Well, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you don't know the things that I know that are currently going yeah, on. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but you could be living in a completely diff different sort of mindset, and I think you are, yeah. And that is the uh, solution. That is the... Uh, that's what's going on. <laughs> you got a completely different mindset. Yeah. You think, you think that we're just going to keep going on and uh, we can have kids and uh, everything's going to be hunky dory. This is, this is Whereabouts this is do you live, Tom? Do you live out in the middle of nowhere, detached house? Like, fucking massive house. Well, your dad's a doctor, so fucking, yeah. Uh, we don't have a massive house. We have, a, we have a, I wouldn't say it's big, but it's, it's alright. Bigger than average? Yes. But why the fuck is your room so tiny? That's what I want to know. That's exactly what I want to know as well. <laughs> it's the smallest room in the house. Yep. Or one of the Same for me. rooms in the house besides the bathrooms. Why am I in the fucking attic right now? Are you watching the game play? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just going to be talking over it because, uh, yeah, <laughs> just a uh, why am I in the fucking attic? <laughs> I'm dog shit. Yeah, I, I can't get used to it. Well, I, I say I'm better than I was when I fucking first started. When I, first I started, don't get it because you're not like moving your thumb, are you, to like. No, you, it's your hand. Focus. It's yeah, it's your whole fucking hand. <laughs> like, Jesus, how the fuck? Can you imagine being in Spec Ops just like hovering your hand to aim at someone's head? You know what you know what they have now, which blows my mind. So, in the SAS, they have guns that can shoot round corners. But where give yeah yeah give give an example of that in so, action though. So what they'll do is they'll have a camera on the top of the weapon, aiming down the sights, right? And then someone, an operator in the SAS, will have a VR headset on that's that is on that camera, right? And yeah. Be able to turn the gun round the corner without sticking their head round there, and with their hands. So half the gun will be like foldable, and that will have the trigger on it. Oh, like an accordion bus. Kind of. But then because they're going to say, how do you bend the trajectory of a fucking yeah, so bullet? The, so the barrel stays straight. And the, yeah, because we're just thinking, the trigger, the bent barrel. The corner. Right, which, is, which blows my fucking mind, that you can just have a gun that goes around the corner, spray everyone, and then go... Yeah, around. so the only thing that wouldn't be... It'd just be the stock, wouldn't it, that you'd... That wouldn't like bend because if you bent the like anything with the barrel where you're firing, yeah, it just 
fucking it just kill you. <laughs> just explode in your face. Have you seen the videos of weapons exploding down the firing range? Like some guy's got a fucking AR-15 and he's shooting it down the firing range. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, <laughs> the fucking barrel blows off and nothing's there. And he's just holding a grip. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that video of the fucking fat kid slamming into the fence? Yeah. I don't know why you like that so much. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, and then he gets up and starts crying. Oh, that's I don't. No, I don't. Th no, I don't think he's crying. though. I think he's just fucking winded. He's, he's whining like a bitch. <laughs> uh, you would be Tom. <laughs> you know, what, you know what someone said to me once, which I fully stand behind. The people that laugh about certain things are the people that would be exactly the same if not worse in those situations oh i know i'd be i know it'd be the exact same i kind of i kind of can feel what you know when you've done something so that's hurt so badly before that it, you just yep. kind of feel the pain yep i was the exact same when i was watching that <laughs> but he doesn't even turn around the corner he just goes straight into the fucking Thing. But the thing is, though, he would have turned, though, if he could. I, I, I'm pretty sure he would have done everything he could to have stopped. Because didn't he have his fucking feet down? <laughs> it's like, what the fuck happened, like, ten seconds before that? Because the speed he was going, it's like, I'm going to die. It's like... Those situations are fucking terrifying. Where is it? <laughs> it's like when you fall down. from something high up and you're not ready to like absorb the impact and it's just like I'm fucking dead or I'm fucking What about the guy who raged a fucking cod? <laughs> Wait. The guy, the, the guy who looked like you. <laughs> the guy who looked like you. I don't think anybody on planet Earth looks like me. <laughs> and no, I'm fucking guy. glad. <laughs> no, it was the guy in a helicopter who got out and got shot by a hacker. And then he got pissed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I said he looked like Ed Kemper. He looked like you. <laughs> what the fuck? No, he sounded like me. Me fucking raging at siege. But oh. fucking hell. His face just. No, it's cringe. Face. It's cringe though because he's just like fucking going off at the company. The. He's losing his job because of their fuck up. What? They're not his fucking employer. What do you mean? <laughs> that fat kid falling into the fence. Oh, That's the God. thing. It's so weird. Like you make money through YouTube. It's like nobody. It's there's no one there to be like, oh, you can't do that. You know, like you can't just get rid of my video. You know, it's like. There's nobody accountable for it. Yeah. There's no fucking committee meeting like, oh, this isn't fair. <laughs> it's just like, you've lost your livelihood, deal with it. <laughs> oh, you're making 1500 a month? Oh, we'll put it down to 100. It's just, fuck up! <laughs> That's literally what happened to me, and it's just like... And that's why I'm pessimistic, Tom. It's like, I could have moved out by now. 
I could have fucking moved you in to set you up with a design fucking thing. Design career. <laughs> You no could idea. fucking work together. We could work together and fucking help each other out. But no, YouTube decided to put it down to 100 a month. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even cover the food. Client benefits, then. <laughs> exactly. And then they've just gone, no, you've, you've not been uh, you've not been paying your tax. Uh, what? Where was you like? Where's your P sixty? Uh, just like, Matt, <laughs> you don't you don't even give me enough money to cover board. You fucking stingy cunts. Uh, remove him now. Foul language. Just like, fuck off. So how do you set up cryptocurrency, Sam? <laughs> Invest everything into that right now. If I if I put in like three hundred quid now to, into crypto, in a like two or three months time, how much money would I have? <laughs> if you invest into Zilliqa now, you put now let's in. let's just say that I put a hundred quid in. Now, in, into yeah. say Ethereum. You would... whatever yeah. So let's say you. Let's say, here's what I think, in, no, let's say you put it into Zilliqa, because Zilliqa's just going to blow up soon anyway. So, let's say you put 100 quid into Zilliqa, in a month's time, you probably have 100 pounds, or something like that. So I've doubled my investment? Yes. Interesting. But it just, but there's no, here's what I say to people, if you're going to, if, if you're going to take advice from me, and you're going to invest money and take advice from me, essentially, you should go into the investment knowing that you're pro that there's a chance you're going to lose never it. see that money ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that that was always my idea of investing in, like, fucking stock and shit. It was just thinking, I'm just going to take a risk and I'm quite happy to lose all that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I said to the guy who's helping me with design, I said, you do realise there's a chance that you're never going to see this money again. And he goes, yeah, I understand. I'm like, great. Well, you can't get pissed at me if we lose it all. Right, and if you do, then... Well, have fun. I'm never speaking to you again. <laughs> but the the thing is, it's like, oh, it's doing really well, and then no, because like right, it could just we do, drop. We do research on it, so we research about the things that we're investing in before we actually go into it. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, let's say it's doing really well, mm -hmm. like when you've. You've made your money back on investment and all the rest of it, and it's just like tenfold fucking return. Mm -hmm. It's like, couldn't it just drop and then you wouldn't be able to sell it all? I mean, yeah, it could, but... It's not likely to. Yeah. Because if it... it here's the funny thing. If it dropped, millionaires would be in debt or they'd be fucked yeah because they just depend on it yeah and the thing is I don't invest in stocks and shares I ever I'm never going to ever because it's pointless plus it's completely un unstable in it like it can just drop to zero can't it yes and and the only way you know here's, here's the thing here's what I told my friend because he, he's at the forefront of design he's literally at the forefront of design so I said to him you should get into stocks and shares because you know exactly what big companies are doing what big tech companies are doing and yeah you can predict where the stock market is going to go based on that yeah so he, sh he does that and I'll do crypto stuff because 
you know, I know about crypto. And this is, you know, just how it works. So, and I'm never going to invest in stocks and shares because Apple could just go bankrupt tomorrow and then they've all stopped. Them. Whereas cryptocurrency or currency can't go bankrupt. The only reason why I'm like so fucking skeptical or pessimistic on shit is because I don't trust anybody outside the door of this house. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, I've got loads of money. Yeah, brilliant. Like, I'm just gonna go down to, the, I'm just gonna go down to the shop and buy loads of food and blah de blah. I don't need to leave the house for a week or whatever. It's just like somebody just fucking mugs me just fucking beats me over the head puts me in hospital I'm fucking a vegetable because they didn't have as much money as me and they needed the money more than me it's like that's how easy it is yeah it is they need a motive to do that I just gave you the motive yeah but you can, you can kind of tell when people are desperate it's like I talk no, they won't fucking talk if they if they if they're gonna rob you. They they're gonna find a way to do it quick and get away with all your shit. But the thing is, you might not even have money. You know, it's like someone just fucking attacks you, thinking that you got loads of money and you got fuck all. And the amount of crackheads and fucking people on the streets is rising. And people are getting more desperate. Press X to crouch. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> but the thing is, like, I'm living in quite a well off area of the UK. Yeah, and I'm pretty, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna say, I'm pretty sure you are as well. But all of the people in the cities, like, around us, nearest to us, are all gonna fucking start. <laughs> Worm in the way of it to our fucking neck of the woods. Right. And it's all gonna go south fast. depicts a world where electricity just gets cut off. Like, where do you go from there? Other side of that green wall, there's a two-story building Say you need to pass through. <laughs> no, because it it will give you nightmares. <laughs> I heard something about electricity. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the game thing on. Game audio. Um, imagine if electricity just cut out now, and it never came back on. <laughs> I'd be right. We'd be fucked. No. <laughs> well, what? what are you on about, Tom? Are you off grid? <laughs> no, but... Hey, if they've got a supply crate in there, you're gonna want to resupply on weapons and ammo. Yeah, you know the instincts, but <laughs> that's fuck all when it comes to surviving. So all of the food in the fridge is spoiled. Um, you'd probably be all right for like a week, and then you go struggle. Fucking hey, look at you! You're killed. All right, now you see the building, right <laughs> all right the you've convinced me. <laughs> Help me out, Tom. Fucking shooting targets in a fucking VR right now. Man, I don't mean the fucking goggles. Kicking doors in. Thinking it fit as fuck. Yeah, this is what I, do. I love how oh, easy it makes it look kicking the doors down. <laughs> you ever tried kicking a door down, Tom? Yeah, it's fucking weird. <laughs> oh my god. Open up. Open up. Open up. 
we have a laugh, don't we? But I mean, when it comes to serious shit, I'm I'm a bit fucking. Uh, okay, bit we stuck got it. Were you or not? Oh, I just don't take things too seriously, unless I absolutely need to. Oh, lots of activity up ahead. The white two-story building to your southwest. Five, six, one. I wish there was a way of playing this when um, the electricity does go out. Yeah, it's called <laughs> well, pick up the <laughs> shoot anyone that's not your family. <laughs> Squeeze my hand if you want to live. Yeah, you don't have thermite, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe they've got an IED in there, you could use? Just search through the cache, and then try to find one. He took, he took a photo of his son sleeping, and he just said to him, squeeze his hand if he wants to live. I know, that's what I just said. The game's that loud, you can't hear anything. Destroy what? Destroy this? Destroy yourself. <laughs> Destroy yourself. <laughs> it's about fifteen, twenty seconds out. This is what is what is this game? It's like... I don't fucking know what it's like. I was gonna fucking say Battlefield count. Siege put together. Counter-Strike no, with better like graphics. Nothing like CSGO. No, but what is CSGO? I've never played that. I've played Counter-Strike, but not CSGO. Uh, CSGO is like Counter-Strike. Don't die. Oh, jihadist. Let's go. Oh, God. Is this online? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. This guy's got a barrel of 50 cal. Enemy on E! Why do I sound louder than you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> Turn him into a mop! <laughs> Did you see the fucking explosion? The guy was just yeah, 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 yeah. It like lagged and it just went and then his body was across the fucking construction zone. You should just start streaming. I am streaming. Uh, no, fucking let me finish, you twat. No, fuck it, I'm not even gonna finish. <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> fucking troll. Are they done? Are they finished? 
What are those comms? <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> Not for much longer. It actually looks like an outdoor, um, it looks like Rainbow Six Three. This is why I want you to keep streaming these games. <laughs> Fucking move! Just stop there. Just pepper in that teammate. <laughs> His friendly fire on. Mike sounds so much better for your PC. Next time I'm playing PC. I'm just gonna throw my PS4 out of the window. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get why everybody that we used to play with is all like, oh, PS9, man. I'm just like, fuck off, you chavs. That just makes me a nerd, doesn't it? N word. Not necessary. When are they going to release another batch of PS5s anyway? Never. And they've sold out again. They have sold out, yeah. Fucking hell. So, same question again, when are they going <laughs> to release the next batch? This game looks sick. What, what, you did that? What, you shot the guy? No, that explosion with the guy flying. No, 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 I saw the guy you shot, yeah, but... The sound design on this is sick. I know what you're saying about Battlefield. It sounds like Battlefield and uh, the map design is a bit more compact. It's a bit like COD actually. These guys are getting dicks.
your mic up on your OBS because it sounds like I'm the host on PS4 saving clips Was this game out? So, I think it was 2017. 2018, something like that. Is it a PC exclusive? Yeah, they're bringing it on the console. And it'll be shit. And everyone will bum it. And, uh, no, yeah. No, no, no. It'll be better on PC than it is on fucking. No, when they release it out on console, everyone will bum it. And everyone will complain about mouse and keyboards, and it's like, well, it was a PC game, so fuck off. Okay, time to move! You won't change us, because we'll be on PC, or I'll be on PC, and we'll be on I ain't getting any more um, console games, unless PT's released. Fuck! Uh, Escape from Tarkov is coming out on console too. No, I wouldn't bother. I know, um, plus I want to get used to first person shooters on PC because I'm shit with a mouse. Well, I probably, nah, I'd probably just be on Fortnite for a bit. <laughs> just to get used to ADSing. Where the fuck was he then? You run up to a balcony and then... Come on, we gotta get over there! Relax, we got this! Teams are now balanced, just get a headshot. Okay. That was a fair fight. God, that fucking LMG. <laughs> Jesus, this is fucking sick. It's like this map is based on an, a real place and they've recorded in all the areas of the map with different weapons. So fucking clear. Decoy or something? I didn't even kill anyone. That was fucking scary then. Did you see the van? I 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fucking, Fucking put a mannequin in it or something with a brick on gas. Shut up. I fucking love these in-game comms. Come on, we gotta get over there! Hey, don't do anything stupid now! Jesus. I love how we're the US Army when we're getting trampled by the terrorists. <laughs> it's because US gear is shit. Terrorist AKs are like the best weapon ever. I'm gonna get them from the Russians. <laughs> All run into the Jeep. This game would be sick in a, like a full squad. I know. That's fair. Tarkov would be sick in a full squad if they all had comms. No, but you can friendly fire though, can't you? Yeah, and you don't even know who your team is. You just have to keep checking. Exactly, so you'd be fucking still bricking it. They should have just made Siege Tactical Realism. What is this? Fucking... TDM? No, it's that Congress, so they have to capture the objective. Oh yeah, have shit, to, yeah. We have to wait for it. Could you imagine, like, holding a weapon for that long? How dead your arm would be. Yeah, mate, I had to do it in the fucking arm. That'll just be people that anticipate somebody inside there already, you know? Yeah. Like on Siege where you just fucking shoot the regular spots and get headshots. Mm -hmm. Don't even see anyone. Yeah. 
Merci. What the fuck? I thought that was his body then. Fucking terrifying. Fuck <laughs> We are getting destroyed. <laughs> Do you know what I fancy right now? <laughs> A calippo. Shooting in, she's just screaming, getting mauled down. Throw she hits the ground. Closing in on him. Check your gear. Hit me, closing in on him. <laughs> Are ya? Bottled it. Sound designers from Dice or something. The guys who did Battlefield. <laughs> as soon as I finished that sentence, all they heard was, and then you just respawned well fast. <laughs> did you all set? No. I said I'm gonna come in this building and play the entire thing. Sprayed one guy and got murdered. Oh my god. Let's frag Ned now. There is competitive on this as well. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ! Long time to reload there, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who killed shit just got dumb. <laughs> it's fucking well realistic. It's fucking ridiculous. This one guy alive, and he's got no more lives so I saw that fucking do some. The only the only shit thing about this is the fucking vehicles. Oh no. <laughs> why why is he stood out in the oh, open? No. Oh, I've got five kills. I've got five well, I've got five kills, seven deaths. Oh the people are speaking oh no. <laughs> Like anything, anything new. Fucking well sick by now. Oh, you're fucking driving. Here we go. You're gonna get a snipe, what are you doing? You're crawling straight towards this fucking scope. You fucking obvious. <laughs> I do realize you're 15 seconds to be honest. Move to their position. <laughs> yeah, I realized that, but I mean, That's it's just fun, like, huh? I started saying that as soon as I saw you let, lie down and take one fucking knee forward. Laugh if he blows a fucking truck load up. <laughs> I know. What the fuck, he just fell over. Okay. You have to try and remember 15 seconds ago every time I say something. <laughs> okay! Oh, they're just sliding across the map there.
finally got him. He didn't slide in it more. They've got 12. I think they're camping. Such a good team, then. <laughs> Some getting knifed up. Yeah, you actually drain the stamina then if you keep sprinting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kicking that door in. Sounds so funny in the stream. <laughs> Jesus, that's louder than my ear rip. Okay. <laughs> Just 
falling down and get sniped. You fucking really quiet now. We have any below the reinforcements! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> we fucking bunny up in every word for it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Getting low dead, you turn around, no one's stupid. <laughs> More to shells going off in your fucking location. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, you know, you said oh, you did it, like you just got killed, like. <laughs> oh, we did it, but it just on the floor, sliding down the hill. Was that guy crying then? <laughs> <laughs> Shell shock. That bag's a bit too big for him. How many non breads has he got in that bag? <laughs> packed, mate. It's packed to the brim. Busting out, busting the fucking zips on it. <laughs> I worry. Oh, every time you laugh on this, I just worry. Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> it's not Fortnite, is it? <laughs> it's not, is it? The further you get through these maps, the more terrifying it bege begets. <laughs> it becomes. <laughs> it begets. My legs are fucking freezing. Nice to know. And I, I need one of them astronauts. Oh, nice. I can't. 
can't hear anything you're saying. You have to fucking talk closer or turn yourself up. Is that you turning yourself up? Yeah, this is me turning myself up. A little bit. I'm fucking out. <laughs> there we go. Can you, can you hear me better now? Yeah, a little bit, but now you've just got a low hiss. Yeah, it's my cat. <laughs> it's your cat. What is on loop? No, put it on the turntable, it's just spinning round. <laughs> Why am I scared that the game's going to be louder now? More realistic. How much time do you get each round? Uh, it depends on the wave. What wave? <sighs> Fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna change weapon. When does this game end? I'm mm -hmm. getting off after this. The last round. Yeah, this is the last round. God, if it was warm in the attic, it'd be fucking perfect up here. We'll get a fucking heater. Yeah, and put that electric bill through the roof. Make a fire. <laughs> get a fire barrel. Survival, yeah? Get some medicine up here. Where do we get some? Grab all of that power line. <laughs> Whenever you move, you just get more down. It's like people are just watching you, like, look at this stupid little twat here. I'd be fun if we beat me, and we just kept dying. There's four of us left. <laughs> This guy's dead. In three, two, one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> three, two, one. And then split second there. <laughs> Someone's mad. He's raging on. He's raging on the voice card. You fuckers all die! Oh, that was 
room too. Fucking GG. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yes. Oh yes, you lost. Here is fucking uh, suck my dick, suck my dick, and just get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 